as we've been saying for so long, been a dream of mine, we're releasing Hope on the Mabuhay Squad farm. It will also be Hope's first experience of a farm and an open outdoor area to live. So this should be interesting. Let's get her. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hope, are you ready to see your new home? I am so excited. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. That's RJ Garcia down there. That's Koya Roman. And guys, this here is the Mabuhay Squad Farm, our future home. House is being built and we're about to release this chicken of ours, our beloved Hope, who has been with us now for about four months. Hope, time to see your destiny. <laughs> Yes! Oh. Hope, I can't wait to release you into the farm. Oh my gosh, you're heavy! <laughs> Look at it, Hope. Yes, this is your new home. She's like really attentive. I don't think this bird has ever been outside for a long time. Do you even know what the outdoors is? Shall we just let her... Well, we should probably let her walk around where the people are because that's where her um, pen will be. Yes, Hope. This is your new home. We're really gonna miss you. All right, guys, check out Hope's night pen. Ooh. Hope, you got a huge, huge sleeping area. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so I guess she'll have like free roam up here during the day. We'll have a stair, right? Yeah, it'll have a stairs, yeah. Oh my, that is so cool. Aren't you excited, Hope? Those are the workers. Yeah, hello guys. Happy New Year. They're awesome. They're working on the house. If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, go check it out. And guess who's here? Hi. Hey you. We miss you. Oh, hi there. Hey. Hi there. We missed you. You guys remember this chicken? He was given to us a couple of days ago as a Christmas gift from the Manzanas family. And he's here hanging out. His home is up here somewhere, I guess. And there's his wife in there. Yeah. Yes. You might want to meet Hope. Come here. Would you like to meet Hope? Hmm? Maybe you can have two wives. <laughs> Alright Hope. Hope, it's time to let you go. She can finally have sand baths. Dust baths. This is what chickens love. Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh, my boy squad, we're doing it. First time now. This oh, is her God, first like... experience of the outdoors. Come on Hope. Awesome. Alright. There she is, eating dirt. She's eating dirt. Yeah, they're allowed. It's good for their stomach, yeah. Oh my gosh, wow, guys! <laughs> Our chickens! <laughs> Hope eats everything, eh? Parang pinipili. Yeah, Hope eats healthy. What do you think, Hope? Oh my gosh, don't eat that! No, no, no eating that. Do you like it? Huh? This is your new home. You have all of this land. Hope, you are so cute. I love you. Don't be afraid. Don't you remember me? Hello? Okay. This is the bantam chicken. I love him. He wants to go back into his house. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hope, I'm gonna miss you. Mabuhay squad, we're gonna miss Hope. Oh, there he goes. Are you sleepy? Huh? Are you sleepy? Hey, there's like an alcohol bottle in here. Oh, that's water. <laughs> Look at her. She's just... Instincts are kicking in now. Look at her. <laughs> you are just a natural chicken, you. You are so cute. Can I pet you one last time? Yes, I'm gonna miss you, Hope. We'll come back and visit as often as we can. She doesn't care. She's like eating all the little goodies she finds, bugs and stuff. Oh, this is so, so gratifying, guys. Just seeing Hope like where she belongs. Guys, I'm gonna show her where all the grass is. Wait, wait, okay. I'm taking you away. Just gonna show you where the grass is. Come. The grass is greener on the other side. Oh, look for bugs! <laughs> See? She's eating that. I was reading in like farm books that you could use chickens to completely clear an undergrowth. And see, it works. Oh, she's really eating it. Isn't this awesome? You got all the weeds you, you can eat. And this food is much better for her than the feeds. Because it's like hormone free, it's low in protein. Now, in case you are just joining us, like she's a meat chicken, she's a broiler chicken. And sadly, broiler chickens have been bred over many decades to just eat and eat and eat like high protein diets and grow to full size in 45 days. And as a result, if you let them grow big enough, they will like die from either heart failure or from being too heavy. Uh, like their feet aren't able to handle their size. So the secret to making them live their longest life is to give them a low calorie, low protein diet um, and limited uh, feeding. But like this is all vegetables, so it's good for her. 
Oh, Hope. Love you so much. Yes, we're, we're really gonna miss you. I hope you don't forget us. And you better be alive by the time we move in. Wow, guys, look. Weaver ants. Arju just spotted them. Yes, we have tons of weaver ants living on the property. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It goes all the way where? Oh, it's a big trail. Oh my gosh, guys, look. There's another chicken here. And they say it just came from outside, like beyond the fence. Hey, come meet Hope. Come meet my chicken Hope. Come. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Archie's like, you're pushy. Well, I would like our daughter to make friends. <laughs> oh, wow, she's even eating the taro, RJ. Ooh. Wow. Oh, you're so cute. Such a cute, cute rose comb bantam chicken. And there's the rose combs hen partner. Yes, hi there. Oh, her tail is pointed to the other side. She's different. She's like, she's a, uh, yeah, deformed. Stroke. <laughs> it's like stroke. Hey, do you guys know what kind of bantam this is? She's like small and light colored, unlike the other rooster. See, they're being lovey-dovey in front of us. I hope you guys have chicks, because apparently bantam fertility rate is low. Okay, you, you be nice to her. Don't peck her tail. Okay, her tail's back to normal. It's not bent to the side no more. It's up now. Oh. No, it's still the same. Oh no, now it's to the side. Okay, that's weird. Oops. Hey! Hey, be nice to her. Okay, now yeah. she left. Uh, Ate, will you miss Hope? <laughs> How do you say that in Tagalog? Ate, uh, mami miss mo ba si Hope? Nami miss ba si Hope? Mami miss. Nami miss ba si Hope? Mami miss. Mami miss. Nami miss ba si... Mami miss mo Mami. Mami, mami miss mo ba, ba si Hope. Ganon. <laughs> OMG nosebleed. I just love seeing Hope in her element, guys. This is so satisfying. Like as much as I would love to be selfish and be like, Hope, you're doing great in our condo. And I know you're happy with us. Inside, I know she's not. But here, look at her. Like what better life can she have than this? Right? Like full free roam of the property and then like a, a nice comfortable home to sleep at at night. Which by the way is about the size of my balcony where she was like confined to. So like she's got a huge master bedroom and like all of this property to eat and feed from and you know dust bathe in and all of that. Oh my gosh guys I can't wait for this farm to be done. I'm also happy here too. RJ's calling us. What? We don't know what tree this is guys. Do you guys know what tree this is? It's got what curly are these flowers no they look like beans like pods they have curly pods like this all the way up the tree we don't know what kind of tree it is at first the we thought it was eucalyptus because of the bark but it has yellow flowers yellow flowers and these like curly they look like snow pea beans hope come it's a lot of space for you to run around and because you and i have been running up and down my hallway you got some nice strong legs. Yeah, <laughs> look at Hope. She's in what will be my dad's room. My mom and dad's room. Hope, don't be chewing on cement. There you go, stay out of the construction. They will be building a pen for her so that she won't be bothering the, the construction site. I took Hope to another area where she wouldn't bother the construction guys. I'm sure she will learn this whole territory in no time. She's a smart bird. Yep, go eat. Eat as much as you want. Look at that. Wow, look at her eating all those greens. You are the most beautiful chicken I've ever seen. I don't care. It was such an honor and pleasure raising you. You be good, okay? You be good. Don't give the construction workers a hard time. You make them laugh. You make them happy, okay? Because they work really hard. Just like you make us happy. You made us happy in the condo. Oh my, I just saw her eat a bug. So she will get protein in the form of like bugs and worms, which is good. More natural than feeds, I suppose. Okay, RJ's giving us a crash course of the house. I was wrong. The door is not there. It's there. Okay, so this is the atrium. Oh wow, that's quite a large atrium. Yeah, this is the atrium. Atrium, and then aviary is here. Wow. They really need like foundation holes this deep? I guess so. I mean, if it's a large structure. Oh, guys, see, look. Oh. The craftsmanship, guys. Oh, yes, okay, so the four holes mark the corners of the aviary. 
Oh, okay. So one, the center here, two, two, one. so it's big. One, two, three, four is the aviary. Wow, the Gaia is gonna have so much flying space there to there to there to there. Wow. I mean, like, they don't look so far on camera, but like, look at the size of the guys. They're kind of far. Like, this is a big space for an aviary. And then the aviary, RJ, will extend up past the roof of the second floor and like past the top of the um, roof on the roof deck, so third floor. So it's a three-story aviary. RJ, wouldn't a three-story five by five aviary be a little large for just Ligaya? Yeah, Maybe we'll, we'll probably get more. We'll get more birds, okay. And what's cool is from the aviary, so this is the end of the aviary, right? There will be a door which leads, they call it trellis. It will have like this sort of like walkway, which will lead to the side door of the house on both ends of the aviary. So like there's kind of like a royal entrance you could go straight into the aviary or you could just walk here into the living area that's the concept we came up with the guys the guys the guys i wonder if she realizes that she's gonna be living here soon the guy do you like our mabuhai squad farm hmm? i also like that she's getting used to this space she's probably been here about three or four times already right she was even here for the house blessing and she was here when we first bought the property or even when we were considering buying the property she was with us when we were just checking it out for the first time. So the guy, you've been here for about five times already. Uh, all right, this is a property of love, guys. And guys, of course, as you saw in a previous vlog, this here is our wall of positivity. Inscribed on each one of these slabs of like cement will be positive affirmations, positive sayings, inspiring quotes that you guys left in a previous vlog where we first introduced this concept when we were in the planning stage. Um, we've chosen over 50 positive quotes and they will be, um, I guess, either painted or I don't know, like engraved somehow, molded onto onto each one of these slabs so that you know it's like positive vibes like you're met with positive inspiring just good vibes right at the onset no bad vibes on the mobile high squad farm yay finally happening oh wait i gotta say bye to hope we should say bye to hope one last time she's all the way back here hi hope hope we're gonna leave you now we have to go the workers are gonna get you later in the night and they're gonna show you where your sleeping quarters are and then you will have to remember where to go oh were you looking for me Huh? You're gonna have to stay. Hope. Oh, she's following me like she did in the hallway. Hope, come. You stay close to the men, okay? Here comes RJ to say bye to her. <laughs> RJ, say bye to Hope. She, she saw me and she like started following me again. She's like, okay, I was looking for you guys. I think she's bonded to us. This is sad that we're leaving her. Hope, you know what? These guys are your new family. We will come and visit. Promise. <laughs> Look at her chasing after her. Come on. Hope, come on. Hope, hope, hope. We're trying to show her the way to where her pen is, where her sleeping quarters are. All right. Her mansion is almost done. Look how, look at how big this is. This is actually bigger than the space she gets on our balcony. So this is where she's sleeping. And then a stairs, stairs will go down here and she'll have an, a pen, like a, a pen area to run around. And um, I guess they'll throw in different grasses and stuff. And every now and then they'll let her out into the field to forage. Salamat kuya. Wow, look at the size of this taro plant, guys. You guys know taro? Gabi? Massive. Okay, Hope, for real, we're going now see you now I know how my mom felt when she had to see me off to college and drop me off at my dorm <laughs> it's a very strange feeling only my mom cried <laughs> guys we have to say hi to the foreman hey Richie great work keep up the great work Richie guys this is the foreman it's okay my hands are dirty too this is Richie thank you, yes thank you on the great work and this is his awesome team bye salamat what I know RJ sad are you sad yeah. I'm sad too, but look, she's so happy out here. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye, Mabuhai Squad Farm. Bye, Hope. All right, Mabuhai Squad. And now we are here at a very cool, cool place. Mm hmm. The guy, I think you're gonna like this place. Mabuhai Squad. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> 